Hi, I give you a short demonstration of demo application on a MAX-5 motion controller. This flying saw demo application runs on our demonstration setup, like you can see here, or on a MAX-5 without motors, and should help you to run your real flying saw application. What you need is a ZUB MAX-5 controller, a PC with APOS IDE installed and the demo files which are given away by ZUB. So let's start. Open the demo flying saw folder. And here we can see the demo flying saw.m application file, so we open it by double clicking. Now we connect to the controller over USB. And here it is. And we make sure that there is no program. So we delete the existing program. And now we are ready to save our application. In the beginning we have to make sure that those defines are set to zero when we use the application setup with real motors and axis number four is used as master. So we got that already and save it. You can give an, another name if you want to. Download the file and make sure you set the auto start that runs your application when turning on MAX5 or you can start it right here in this window now you see the controller comes up with an error error number 76 that means the array configuration does not fit. That happens when your previous application had another DIME array set up. So we delete that by going to Reset and Arrays. Delete all arrays in the controller. OK. And switch off and on again the controller. So, we connect again. So, now you get a few print messages in the control window that helps you when there is something you need to know. Next step is to open our monitor file. You can see the flying so demo.zbm file and uh, make sure that those two bitmaps are included in the same folder. And then we open it by double click. It should actually connect automatically to the controller. If not, you can choose the controller here. You have three sections here for access information, a section here for moving the axis in manual mode, and main control panel to set the cutting length in millimeters, and start, stop, reference, and manual button here. If there is an error, it shows up here, and you can clear the error with this button here. You don't need this section here, this only for Virtual Master, but we don't need this. First of all, you have to reference all the axes. Now we have only axis 1 and axis 2, so reference is done. And now I show you how to move in manual mode. Press manual mode. 
you see the green light goes on here you can move in positive direction stop it and move back in negative direction the same for axis 2 if you want to stop the manual mode just press stop again and then it shows it goes back into the idle state so now we start the flying saw application the both axes go to the start position and now what we need is to have a master velocity to run This axis here represents the belt or your web that could be any material you want to cut. This is the axis where the saw is mounted and this is the axis for the saw itself. You see it's very hard to follow in real life application, therefore we have an oscilloscope in APOS, we have a prepared ZBO file here in the demo flying saw folder, open it by double click. This shows the graphic from my last recording. So I delete that, I delete also the cursors and connect this file to the controller. You see that by the status light goes green. Then we can start the oscilloscope and for sure I have to speed up Master. If there is enough, we can hold or pause the oscilloscope and zoom in what we want to look at. I stop for quiet. Yeah, we have this one here, that's the master position, that's the orange. Then we have the actual position of the axis number one. And we have actual position of axis 
two, which is this one. So you can save it and then close the window. The core feature of this application is done with cam curves. All cam curves are initialized in the program, but you can make them visual by using the cam editor. You start it here and then read back from the controller. This is the right controller. Yeah. And here we see that's the, the curve for our first axis and the cam curve for our second axis looks like that. You have the possibilities to enter the fixed point or you even can change them here. So, that was a quick introduction. So, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. And for more information, contact ZUB Motion Control. Bye.